Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the interquartile range of listed data. Now in a previous video we looked at what quartiles were and let's kind of just try and visualise the data. If we had the data in ascending order, which we do here, and you've got your minimum value here and then halfway across your data, so you ordered your items and you went halfway across it like the middle, that would be the median and that would be 50% of the way along. Now, if you went a quarter of the way along, so 25%, that was the lower quarter. I'm just going to put LQ for short. And if you went 75% of the way, that is the upper quarter, UQ for short. And then your maximum value, in this case 14, would be here. So that's 100% of the way. Now, we know that the range of data would be the difference between the smallest value and the biggest value. So that's the range of your data. And the range is useful because it tells us how spread out the data is. What's the width of your data? And basically, the more spread out your data is, the greater the range. If all the values were the same, then the range would be zero. And that's basically saying your data is not spread out at all. It has zero range. It has zero spread. Now, what the interquartile range is, is basically the range of the middle half of your data. So between the lower quartile and the upper quartile, what that spread is. So that's called the interquartile range, the range between the lower and upper quartiles. That's why it's called the interquartile range. And the reason it's useful is because basically, if we were to get rid of the sort of lowest quarter of the values, the most extreme values at the bottom end, and we were to get rid of all the values at the sort of extreme values at the top end of your data, it's basically saying how spread out the bulk of your data, the middle lot of your data is. And that's quite a useful value. So basically the interquartile range, or IQR for short, is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, the difference between the two quartiles. So the upper quartile, or UQ for short, minus the lower quartile, or LQ for short. So we saw how to find quartiles from a previous video. We first count to the middle, so we count from the ends, inwards, 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 inwards. So that's your middle value, which is your median. And then, ignoring that middle value, we find the median of the lower half. So if we go inwards, uh, uh, we can see that's our lower quartile here. So the lower quartile is eight centimeters. And then again, ignoring the middle value, we find the median of the upper half. So starting here, inwards, inwards, 13 centimeters. So the upper quartile is 13 centimetres. Remember there was a trick for this, that if the number of items was one less than a multiple four, so you've got 11 pencils, then what you do is you do 11 plus one, you add one to it to get 12, and then you find quarters of that. So what's quarters of 12? Well, quarter of 12 is three, then the next quarter is six, next quarter nine. So three, six, nine. We take the third item, the sixth item, and the ninth item, and that will give you the free quartiles and the median. So that's a quick way you could do it. And that only works if the number of items is one less than multiple four. But anyway, the interquartile range is just the difference between the two, 13 minus eight, which is five centimeters. And that's the final answer.